Good morning, everyone. I'm Matthew, and we are The Scoops. So, in our last video, uh, we had talked about the fact that I was going to mulch everything back here and that of course you would see it on the next video. Unfortunately, not exactly the case, but I suppose kind of because I'm mulching everything today. Uh, so we're gonna go through that real quick and explain what I mulch with and of course why I mulch with it and why I mulch in general. So let's go ahead and just get after it here. So I've already gotten started on these here. Um, we mulch with straw. Actually, we've mulched with a combination of straw and uh, uh, basically a, it's like a straw hay mix, I guess you could say. Um, now, the reason we do that, first and foremost, if you're going to mulch with straw like this, uh, make sure that it's not been sprayed. Um, I believe they spray like a growth inhibitor uh, to try to kill some of the seeds uh, uh, that are part of the plant that they use for straw and of course you don't want that getting into your plants and affecting those at all so make sure that you know if you're using this make sure it hasn't been sprayed with uh, inhibitors or any kind uh, in our area at least when we bought this uh, that type of straw was actually also cheaper so that is a benefit of that as well uh, and that's the biggest reason why we get it is cost. Some of the, uh, you know, wood chip style mulch can get expensive. It may look nicer, uh, but this works just fine. It also breaks down into the soil over time, uh, which is why we also use it to bottom fill our bags here. So cost, effectiveness, gives a little bit back to the soil. Uh, it's going to be mostly carbon course I believe anyway uh, that it gives back to the soil but that's why we use it so as you can see all we're doing here is just basically layering it all over the place and just kind of spreading it out layering it up and we just keep doing that throughout all of the bags there's really not much to it So we've pretty well got all of this all mulched up and everything, uh, except for a few plants. Uh, first off would be the pepper plants. Uh, my jalapeno plants, I'm actually thinking of uh, trying to uh, winterize them uh, later on. They've actually got a lot of small little peppers on them at the moment, so I'm going to let them go for a little bit longer. Uh, but because I'm going to be doing something with that plant that involves not only pruning it back but actually putting it into a different container, I haven't mulched that one yet. Same with the serrano plants. Um, so again, I didn't want to mulch them if I'm just going to be pulling stuff out of them. The other one though is the zucchini plants. And last week I ended up direct sowing some of them. Well, check this out. got some of the starts that are actually coming up now part of the issue is I planted more I just don't know exactly where I didn't mark them off so what I don't want to do is actually cover them with mulch forcing those starts and any other ones that happen to come up to have to fight a little bit harder to break through uh, potentially killing them off so 
So I'm going to give them a little bit more time, maybe get them through the rest of this week. Just keep it really well watered and see what happens. Uh, if I don't have any other starts popping up through there, I'm probably just going to go ahead and mulch it at that time. So again, got everything all mulched. Now we're just going to water them down. Uh, that's going to help keep stuff from blowing out because uh, again, all of this is pretty dry. So this will help uh, the straw kind of stick into the containers uh, and not blow away. Some of it's going to, and that's inevitable. That's fine. You can just add more. and that takes care of the watering now if you're wondering what's the deal with the trash can full of water uh, we don't have a proper rain catchment system here um, as I've stated before this is a rental uh, so I can't really go installing a gutter system or anything like that so all we do is when it does rain we open that up uh, and catch as much as we can that comes off the roof uh, we generally have a couple of these totes that we use back here that we'll do the same thing for, with. And then we use that water to put it you know, back in our garden. Uh, the plants seem to really love it. And of course we try to go through it as quickly as possible so it doesn't go stagnant and doesn't draw mosquitoes and things of that nature. Uh, so that's all that is there. So mulching. That was what we did today. Uh, now, one th uh, Mulching serves a few different purposes. One, it acts like an insulation. Uh, now here where we're at, we are in a 9B growing zone. Now all that really means is our uh, average coldest temperature is uh, somewhere around like 25 to 30 degrees, if it even gets that cold, but that's like the average lowest temperature, okay? So while freezing is a possibility here uh, it's not something that you usually see a whole lot it can still uh, help keep the soil temperature uh, a little more consistent so one thing that we deal with here of course is obviously heat and I'm not talking just about summertime heat uh, like for example this time of the year uh, you'll see lows uh, you know let's say around 63 degrees but it might jump up to 90 degrees that afternoon. So with the mulch on there, it does kind of help keep at least the top portion of the soil uh, from heating up too quickly. The one property of mulching that benefits us the most, uh, at least in my opinion, deals with moisture retention. It gets very dry here and not just in the summertime. As a matter of fact, the late portion of the summer, which is when we are in our monsoon season, generally tends to actually be more humid than it is like for example right now. Having that extra layer helps lock in some of that moisture, keeps us from having to water quite as much, uh, also keeps it to where, you know, of course, obviously for the same reason, the soil doesn't dry out near as harshly. So that is the benefit for us when it comes to mulching. And that'll really do it for us today. I wanna to thank you for hanging out with us today. Thank you for subscribing and hitting the like button. And if you're interested in seeing more content from us, make sure to ring that notification bell. Uh, that'll notify you when we upload new content. Otherwise, thank you and we'll see you on the next one.